What makes up a good MMO? Is it the PvE or the PvP? Both are vital, but I would say what makes a great MMO is the game's economy. In my opinion, Dworkin's PvE and PvP are both good and enjoyable. However, the same cannot be said about the game's economy, or lack of one. In fact, the game's economy is practically non-existent, but I have some ideas to change that. Before the video starts, only 3% of you guys are actually subscribed, so if you guys do enjoy my videos, hit that subscribe button and it is greatly appreciated. And with that said, enjoy the video guys. Now my first idea is to increase the value of notes through adding new systems. The first system is a player marker where players are able to go and list and sell items ranging from materials and blueprints for crafting to enchants and legendary items. To ensure that these items never go for too cheap such as one note, there can be a base amount of notes that some items can be listed for. For example, a curved blade can only go for minimum 25k notes, or enchants can be a minimum of 10k, or rare blueprints can be a minimum of 15k. You get the idea. This system alone will have a massive impact on the game. It will revive a previously dead economy, bringing back a wave of players that had previously left due to trading being ruined. It will completely change farming as players grind for notes rather than enchants, and it will boost PvP as players fight to make money, all the while benefiting both sides of the game in coin, as skillful and experienced players can farm to sell loot from Hell Mode, Layer 2, Primadon, and etc. The more casual player can farm notes to simply buy what they specifically need. And obviously, with the additions such as a player market, the cap on notes should be completely removed, and a proper banking system should be implemented, and one that is a wide because as of right now the so-called bank is locked behind the paywall of creating a new slot. This also creates a soft pay-to-win system which is obviously objectively flawed and morally wrong. I suggest the bank should have around 200 items of space and should be able to hold limitless amounts of notes and you should be able to upgrade your bank space by 10 for 3k notes and then another 10 for 6k notes and another 10 for 12k notes and so on. This banking system will ensure that transferring items between different slots is a much more fluid and enjoyable process because as of right now, the only way you can realistically transfer safely is to either drop to another player so you have to have a friend there or to drop onto the floor in, a, in an area that no one goes to and then switch servers on your different slots. And the whole process is just really annoying and this whole bank system will make that much more enjoyable. This idea isn't completely far-fetched because banks already exist within the game and there's at least one bank in every major city in the game. Meaning, the devs have clearly put the effort to make a bank building, but haven't put any effort into actually making a bank feature. And I think that's a very, very big flaw and a very, very big thing they're missing out. Because it's a small thing that can completely make the quality of the life hundreds of times better. There are several reasons to why this should be implemented. As of now, the game's economy is player driven, therefore these changes would be aligned with the game's current systems. And this addition will be more of a quality of life change, improving the game as a whole. It is evident time and time again that a player market works effectively at keeping an economy thriving. This is shown through other MMOs such as ESO or Albion Online. These MMOs such as ESO and Albion Online both have a section of their player base that have the sole purpose of making money and becoming the richest. And Deep Woken has a similar group of players that play the game to trade enchants and rare items. This feature would boost an already player driven economy and would be in the best interest of the community and them as a whole. Now these features are all really really good and the only thing I can genuinely think that will be kind of a bad thing about these implementations if they were brought into the game is that it will have a massive impact on their already existing trading servers such as the work and trading hub but other than that I think these things these implementations are very healthy for the game and should definitely be thought through and implemented because I think it will only be benefiting the game as a whole but that's just my take on it and my opinion on it and it's just something I wanted to bring to bring light to the community um, but with that said and if you guys did enjoy the video hit the subscribe button hit the like button and have a good day everybody